Okay, as promised, I'm going to continue to show you uh, stuff that goes on um, between the times I'm painting. So today um, I'm doing something that's actually pretty boring. I'm, uh, um, it's necessary, but a little bit boring. But I'm working on doing some keyword searches for my YouTube channel, and I'm actually working on my channel in general. So um, testing out a um, an add-on for uh, for Google. It's actually called VidIQ, and uh, it's giving me uh, insights into other people's videos. And so I'm taking a look at popular videos and trying to see what some of their uh, keywords are, so I can glean uh, from that and hopefully apply some of that to my own videos. So um, that's what I'm up to at the moment, and uh, got to do it. So an interesting thing about uh, uh, YouTube in general is um, creating a video and uploading it is really not that difficult. Um, but uh, what I'm discovering is uh, to be successful at it, it's a very large rabbit hole. And uh, once once you take a dive in there, it just gets deeper and deeper. And, there's so much to learn and the um, learning curve is it's quite steep but uh, I'm starting to figure some of it out and learning every day and so that's one key point I guess is I spend a little bit of time every day um, either researching um, looking at other people's videos both both for uh, content style um, I guess I'm a bit of a sponge right now I'm just trying to learn as much as I can from as many people as possible and I think the best advice that I've gotten so far actually came from Casey Neistat. And uh, his advice was just keep uploading. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm trying to get as many videos as I can to get into a rhythm of actually producing them. Um, and so far it's working out so good, it's not so bad. So uh, I will uh, obviously keep going and I'll let you know what's uh, what's next. All right, so I'm kind of glad that's over. Um, I know I need to take this time, and it's not always super easy to do, but uh, I know I need to take it and uh, work through some of these things to uh, improve my video searchability and uh, update my uh, keywords and uh, just check on the general um, performance of how the videos are doing. So anyway, I hope um, I hope you're enjoying them and uh, I'm not uh, boring you to death with these videos that are actually what is kind of happening between my painting sessions which is what I really wanted to show you is that um, there's a lot more um, that I do as part of my journey which which really is the intent of my channel in the first place is um, this is a journey that I'm on and I'm just uh, I'm just trying to bring you in and, uh, and, and allow you to cruise along with me so Anyway, I've also been checking out a, uh, a video recently. I'll see if I got it in here. Um, so I've been working through this. It's actually a David Curtis two DVD set uh, from APV Films. Um, a light touch and light in the landscape. <clears throat> right. Sometimes when I'm watching David's videos, it's a uh, it seems like magic to me and um, so I have to pick something specific that I'm looking for like um, like line quality or um, or value or because um, if I just watch it as if I'm watching a movie um, it happens kind of in front of you I mean he paints and creates this painting and everything um, but I'm more sort of like mystified by the whole thing rather but when I really focus in and look at very specific things to look for um, like um, sometimes he starts with um, the lightest thing that he sees and uh, which is kind of counterintuitive to what most of us are taught that you start with your darkest and work toward your lightest um, but he puts that in for really good reasons and so that's something I've picked up from uh, from this video anyway uh, I'll be watching a little bit of this today and uh, I will uh, hopefully at some point I'll kind of talk more about um, why I'm so uh, into David Curtis. But all right, so thanks for checking out my video today, and I will uh, uh, 
let's see oh yeah subscribe um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, share it if you like it and I'll catch you later so I'm on my way home and there's like a uh, there's a rainbow right over here so